This really concerning story regarding ASAP Rocky having to face trial for firing a gun at a childhood friend. This might be one of the most redacted stories I've ever seen in my entire life because it only happened two years ago. And if you guys know, obviously Rocky is fucking basically married to Rihanna. They have two kids. There's rumors that they might be having a third. She's obviously a legit billionaire with businesses coming out of every orifice, every surface on her body. Just recently, she signed a big deal with Puma. And because of her clout and her notoriety, she re-signed with Puma. Sorry, not a big deal, but she re-signed with Puma with a new deal. She was even able to get fucking rocky a deal with puma to do some formula one connection it's absolutely terrible don't get me wrong but she still has enough clout enough influence enough riches enough power to get her fucking baby daddy her husband a deal with puma so they're all set right they're set for life rocky gets to perform at all these core cool festivals around the world in europe still asap rocky is super popular here maybe not so much in the states but in europe asap rocky kills it Every festival, prominent one in the UK, books him. From Primavera to fucking Wireless here in the UK to Reading and stuff like Every other festival I see in Europe, like Alternative, whatever festival it may be, they love booking fucking ASAP Rocky. So he's always paid. He's always booked and busy. Even though he doesn't drop albums and singles too often, he's nice. And obviously he's married to a fucking legit billionaire. If that's the case, why are you shooting people, did Rocky? Why do you even own a fucking gun? Why are you getting in altercations where you're having to fucking shoot somebody in the first place? Even more so with it being an old childhood friend, right? The former, if I'm not mistaken, I think Relly is a, one of the original members, or one of the original, sorry, founders of ASAP Mob. He might be one of the people that actually invented the fucking name. And the irony of this is, if you remember your ASAP Rocky law, or ASAP Mob law, you would know that Rocky, I think, was the last addition, one of the late additions into ASAP Mob. He got introduced to ASAP Mob, if I'm not mistaken, through, um, what's his face? Ah, oh, I forgot his fucking name, he passed away. Um, that's who he got introduced to for the ASAP Mob with. And maybe even Bari. But he wasn't an OG member. So imagine falling out with somebody who's the founding member of the group you were in, but you are also the most famous member from that group. Really, really bizarre. Especially, again, when you consider his fucking life options and shit, you shouldn't be doing this. But let's watch the clip. This actually is the clip that they are using to say that there's enough evidence to take it to court because I guess they were trying to throw it out. Right? That's it, Yams, yeah. Yams, I think, is the one that introduced Rocky to ASAP Mob. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Relly and somebody else started Mob. Maybe it was ASAP 12, I forgot who it was, but there was two people that started the Mob and then those guys got introduced later on down the line um but yeah this is the video that they've been using in the court to basically say hey this is why this case should be going to court or should be going to trial sorry and it's kind of hard to tell what's going on but you can see a couple of figures in the background wrestling for something and i guess the allegation is that there was a gun involved oh no this is not the video this is this is rocky uh what you call it arriving at court he looks good though to be fair He's wearing a really nice suit, double-breasted with a good brooch on. That's him sitting in court with a face mask on. And this is the video playing. So in the video, you have a guy in a hoodie and another guy wrestling, kind of like grappling with each other. And I guess in that grappling of each other, somebody fired a gun. And I guess Relly is alleging that Rocky fired the gun and it hit his hand. But the odd thing about this story is that it, there's a video footage that shows ASAP Relly and his girlfriend going back to the scene and picking up the shell casings. So I don't know. I don't know if they were on scamming or on basically trying to jam up Rocky from the beginning because it seems odd. If you get shot in the hand, or if you get shot in any way, why are you then concerning yourself to go pick up the shell casings? You know, it seems a bit strange. But there's a video here anyway. It shows some people grappling in the video. It's hard to make out. Hold on, let, me, let me rewind a bit. It's hard to make out who the people are in the actual video, to be honest. But there's some grappling happening. They kind of hold on to each other. They push each other. Maybe Rocky's the one in the black hoodie, actually. He's a bit shorter. Maybe that's Rocky there. That's 12 e in the with the dreads. So maybe 12 is going to get um, asked to interview. There's Relly there. And then Rocky pull. Oh, it looks like Rocky pulls out. Ooh. Yeah, there's Rocky with a gun there, isn't it? Oh, no. You don't see him fire it, but you see him with a gun. He kind of postures towards Relly, right? He kind of postures towards him. If I kind of scrub back on this video, you see Rocky basically doing that universal black boy thing, right? Where he kind of puts his arms out like a fucking kangaroo, right? He does that side thing with his hands, and then he pulls out a gun from his jeans, 
if I'm not mistaken. A gun comes out for his jeans and he fires it towards him. Man, I don't get this, man. Honestly. Exactly. Bro's married to a millionaire and he's doing this. Like, what? Billionaire. So not big millionaire. A fucking billionaire and he's doing this. Like, what the fuck is he doing? Big up LSAP 12V for trying to stop this, but too little, too late. And I bet you the reason why they were beefing in the first place was super redacted. I bet you it was super dumb. The reason why they were actually having a fight in the first place. The reason why they got into some sort of physical altercation. I bet you was incredibly fucking stupid. Because these are the same guys, ASAP more honestly. For as much as I like them with music and whatnot and the fashion and the activations and the shows, they're also full of a bunch of weirdos, isn't it? ASAP Mob is the first group that I saw where the individuals were beefing over fucking Supreme. They were beefing over clothes. Like ASAP Nas, like beefing people. Oh yeah, I wore this first. I remember ASAP Nas got into some beef with Tyler the Creator because he thought that he was, I don't know, that, that style that Nas has where he wears like para boots and these little fucking, you know, uh, train conductor hats. When, when Tyler the Creator was doing it, he got into a beef with him because he thought that he invented that style or something. Like, insane, right? Bari gets into fights over fucking clothes. These guys are fucking wild. Um, and really redacted. So it wouldn't surprise me if this argument in the first place was something incredibly stupid. So yeah, you see Rocky there and you see the gun there. See, you see the gun. There's a gun there. Rocky pulls the gun in his trousers. You clearly see it. So that's definitely Rocky, unfortunately. Um, is he wearing the Puma jeans? No, he's not. He's wearing some other jeans. But I thought he's wearing... He's actually... Oh, that's a Mastermind hoodie though. He's got that good Mastermind hoodie, right? Mastermind with the be with the be with the bedazzlements. With the gems all over. He's got a good mastermind hoodie on there as he's pulling out the strap and fucking firing on one of his old friends and shit. Absolutely crazy. Let's continue with this little clip here from the courtroom. Whoops, let's go back. I don't know what he's doing that for. Yep, he pulls a gun back into his short trousers. He walks off and rarely walks off also. Oh no, he fires it, I guess. Sounds of like the gunshots now. Bang. Only one. Two. His lawyer said the video's not him. So... He's arguing it's not him, but it clearly does look like him. He's also walking like him. Again, I don't know Rocky too much, but I can tell how he walks. It looks like him, unfortunately. And with it being LA, he's fucked. Because I was one person, I didn't expect Tory Lanez to go down for the Megan Thee Stallion shooting. Because if you actually analyze the evidence, there wasn't a lot of evidence that pointed to him actually holding the gun and sh firing at fucking Megan. But unfortunately, because the gun was in his quote unquote possession and he was already, if I'm not mistaken, wasn't he a convicted felon already? He had some sort of court case already on his head. I didn't know that LA doesn't play when it comes to the fucking gun laws and shit. That's why he got such a long time in terms of sentencing. So if, if Tory Lane's case is anything to go by, Rocky's going to actually do some jail time. Unless he's actually got a robust and crazy good lawyer I expect him to do some jail time, unfortunately, because it looks like he had the gun. It looks like he fired it. There's obviously the sound of it. Obviously, there's a victim willing to testify and point him out in court. He's going to go to fucking jail, which is such a shame. Like, what are you doing being a bad man? You're married to fucking Rihanna, man. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your collabs. Enjoy going flown out to fucking Fashion Week. You know? Ugh. Anyway, it says here, rapper ASAP Rocky will stand trial on charges that he fired a pistol in a feud um, with a former childhood friend. The decision came on Monday during a second day of preliminary hearing, which attended by Rocky, real name Rakeem Myers. Prosecutors say Mr. Myers, 35, pointed and fired a gun at Terrell Efron two years ago, causing minor injuries. Yo, how long does it take to fucking court cases to go, for cases to go to trial? This happened two years ago fucking hell man so his life he's been in some level of you know he's been in limbo or some sort of like freedom purgatory for two years this also might explain am, am i is this a bit of a stretch if i say this may, this might explain why there's all these pictures of rihanna and rocky everywhere like being amazing mums and dads like being the coolest mums and dads is that part of the do you think that was part of the slide defense that his team tried to make sure that whenever they whenever Rocky's pictured, he's with Rihanna. Whenever Rihanna's pictured, she's with Rocky. Whenever they're together, the kids are and there. Maybe they wanted to put for this image of a perfect family, of him being a family man, him being a great dad, so that it would help his case. I wonder if that was a thing because this happened. It feels like two. It feels like two years ago is when the content with Rocky and Rihanna was really ramping up. You see every bit of content about them online, online. They, they, look, they look amazing, don't get me wrong, but hmm, 
even the recent picture that I've seen on social media of them with their kid in the fucking playground somewhere wearing match matching Luebe tracksuits or matching Luebe, Luebe track jackets. Or so, sorry, it's like really his and hers Luebe track jackets. Anyway, it continues. The Grammy nominated Mr. Myers, who has had two number one albums, is facing two felony counts of assault. That sentence is fucking wild. You're Grammy nominated with two number one albums and you're now facing a two felony assault charges with a firearm. Do you know how insane that is? Do you know how dumb that is? Nobody in his position to be, should be doing what he's doing. Fucking hell, man. He could receive up to nine years in prison if found guilty. Mr. Efren, who was part of ASAP Mob's hip-hop collective and known him since they were time together at New York High School, alleges separately in a lawsuit that he's a victim of assault and battery and negligence and emotional distress. Imagine what kind of beef you have to be in to fire on somebody that you went to fucking high school with. Like, I guess maybe only your real close friends can actually get under your skin like that. But really and truly, you should be able to walk away from that situation if you were actually real friends from fucking high school. Like, really, that's this is really disappointing. Mr. Efron, known as ASAP Relly, says Mr. Myers lured him to an obscure location outside the W Hotel in Hollywood on 6th of November to discuss a disagreement. Imagine getting told to come outside to, of, the, of the fucking W Hotel in, in Hollywood to, to beef. These ASAP guys are crazy, innit? They're like beefing at Complex Con, beefing during Fashion Week, beefing outside of fashion shows in stores outside of hotels all these bait places like anyway cctv footage of the alleged assault was played in court that shows mr myers brandishing and firing a gun at an la detective testifies earlier this morning of course it's clearly him mr myers lawyers deny that is the their client who is seen in the video that's the only defense it wasn't him superior court judge ml villa only had to decide whether this case was sufficient enough to go to to bring forward, not whether the crime had been committed. The burden of proof is significantly lower for preliminary hearings like these. Mr. Efron is also suing Mr. Myers, claiming that after a verbal altercation, Mr. Myers pulled a handgun in and personally promised the direction of Mr. Efron and fired multiple times. So he's going to sue him also. So he's going to get he's going to get the bag. And he's going to get Rocky sent to prison. Again, I'll be shocked if he doesn't get no prison time. Considering what happened with fucking Tory Lanes and there not being any fucking gunshot residue on his hands and shit and him still getting the time that he got for the Megan Thee Stallion fucking shooting, it's, um, I am prone to believing he's going to get some time. Mr. Efron was struck by a bullet projectile fragment in his left hand and required medical attention. According to the courts, he's seeking at least $25,000. That's he's aiming a bit low, isn't it? There, isn't it? I would have aimed way higher. I would have made that 25 million <laughs> or 2.5 million, to be fair. Fucking hell. At a court hearing in August 2022, the judge ordered Mr. Myers to stay 100 feet away from Mr. Efron. Mr. Myers was previously given a two year spent sentence for his role in a brawl in Stockholm. He's being represented in Los Angeles by lawyer Joe, Tra Joe Tapokio. Joe Tacopina, sorry, Joe Tacopina, who is also representing former President Donald Trump in a civil case. ASAP Rocky, he's one of the breakout stars, blah, 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 blah. Jesus Christ, man. Absolute horror show of a situation. But one thing is for sure, Rocky's got that good suit on him. He looks fucking incredible in the suit. Uh, he's wearing this really nice double-breasted number. Um, it fits him really well. No really crazy stuff. The hair is braided on point. And I really do like this little brooch detail. I know it's, it's a bit of a serious, you know, allegation that's going on at the moment and it's a serious case, but this brooch detail on the double-breasted jacket is pretty sublime. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty, pretty sublime. The fucking suit fits amazing, great on the shoulders, it's tailored to fuck. It's got that good black fucking face mask on, the good Ray-Bans, the braids are tight and the trousers are all done. You know, I love it. I love it. Nice brooch there on the jacket. He looks really good. He looks really fucking good. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. So big up, Rocky. Bang your doors. If you're going to go to jail, at least put that shit on. And he did it. He's got that fucking shit on. So bang your doors, Rocky. Bang your fucking, fucking doors. That's what I say. Bang your 